thank you for this opportunity as well to you know give a response to the speech from the throne as will relate to my uh, uh, my maiden speech on May the 5th 2015 like many Albertans I watched the results of the provincial election on television surrounded by family and friends and the home I share with my beautiful wife Michelle I came to realize that I would be successful and would become the third member of the Legislative Assembly for White Court St. Anne since its creation in 1993. I couldn't be more honoured to serve the wonderful people of this district. This amazing constituency is rich in diversity, and not only its people and communities, but also its natural wonders. The hard-working people of the White Court St. Anne are farmers, ranchers, forester, foresters, machinists, plumbers, electricians, welders, truckers. They serve meals, clean hotel rooms, work in stores, provide financial and legal advice, teach and guide our young. We can't forget the many men, men, and, men and women who serve the public good as nurses, peace officers, and firefighters. Some work in or near their town, while others can commute to Whitecourt or Edmonton, but all contribute to the prosperity of Alberta. Much has been said about the need to diversify our economy, especially in light of the current downturn in the price of oil and gas. White Court St. Anne, with its abundance resources, is well positioned to take advantage of that diversification. Oil and gas, for sure, will become more diversified, but so will the other two major industries in Alberta, agriculture and forestry. As the largest of our renewable sectors, both have a lot to contribute by way of value-added products. Research in forestry and agriculture will allow us to continue being world leaders in new wood and agriculture products. Our climate change leadership, our leadership plan will allow for increased innovation in the use of biofuels and green electricity generation. There are already some exciting things happening in the district that demonstrate to the world that we take climate change seriously and we'll do something about it. White Court St. Anne will have a large role to play in the new green economy. As we continue to invest in the future of this great province, we will strive to diversify our economy so as to ensure that those in White Court St. Anne find the current economic times tough will be able to look forward to a brighter future. That future is in large part possible because of the good people of White Court St. Anne who spend some of their free time helping others. The single, single greatest asset to the social well-being of our communities is its volunteers. You might be a member of a service club or a leader with a youth group such as Scouts Canada or coach a hockey team. You might help out with the community lunchbox program in White Court or perhaps the Legion in Evansburg and other towns. Perhaps you spend some of your free time with the agriculture societies or the 4-H club and not only contribute to the prosperity of our rural district, but also play a huge part in maintaining that rural lifestyle we all love and cherish. Whatever you volunteer for, I am grateful for your contribution. Your efforts are what make White Court St. Anne the great place to live and raise a family that it is. From the vistas of the Pembina River to the amazing trails of Carson Pegasus Provincial Park, the consistency of White Court St. Anne is one of the most beautiful areas of the province. Many of us enjoy spending time near the many small lakes that dot the landscape. We are blessed with wonderful farmland and an abundance of forested area. Tourists come to White Court St. Anne to hunt and fish, ski, snowmobile, camp and hike. The district is large, with over 70 villages, hamlets, towns and summer villages. It spans from, Albert from Onaway, Alberta Beach and Alexis First Nation in the east to White Court, Blue Ridge, and Mayor Thorpe in the Northwest, to Piers and Wildwood in the Southwest. Michelle and I moved to Lac St. Anne over six years ago, and it was one of the best decisions we ever made. We got married on our property and celebrated in the Darwell Hall. We have met so many wonderful people, especially over the past year or so. It seems everyone has a passion for their hometown or their family farm. Like many Albertans, I grew up on the family farm, a farm that my brother now runs as a fourth-generation farmer. He's 10 years older than I, so I knew early on that he was most likely to continue the family tradition. I instead found work as a geotechnical technician with Agriculture Canada. That job saw me working on many different irrigation projects across the province, mostly in Alberta. 
Little, little did I know that those 20 years as a public servant with Agriculture Canada would serve me so well in my future job as a public servant for the province of Alberta. As the member of the Legislative Assembly for White Court St. Am, I am a public servant. As a public servant, I feel my role is to represent the citizens of the district the best I can. It does not matter whether you support me in the election or not. I am here to represent all. After so many years with only one party ruling, we all had to learn to transition. That transition has had its bumps, but I am proud of what we have been able to accomplish in 10 short months. We have shown that we put people first. Whether it is maintaining funding for education or health care, or implementing a stimulus plan that will put many Albertans back to work, we continue to show that people are our greatest resource and our first priority. A few days after, we all realized that after 43 years, there would finally be a change in the government in Alberta. The Premier asked me to meet with her. I was not sure what I could have possibly done wrong so short a time. We had not even been sworn in yet. To my great relief, I was not in trouble. Instead, the Premier asked me if I would like to be the Minister of Agriculture and Forestry. I was absolutely overjoyed and immediately said yes. I also told her that if I had a choice of, mi of ministry, it would have been agriculture, as I know how important farming is in my district. I have to admit that I did not know a lot about forestry at first, but I always knew that forestry is also an important industry in White Court St. Anne. People in the industry have been fantastic in bringing me up to speed with respect to the challenges and opportunities in forestry. In fact, only three days after the election, I was asked by Alberta Newsprint Corporation and Miller Western to tour their facilities in White Court. I eagerly accepted their invitation and proceeded to visit as many mills across the province as I possibly could. The people of White Court St. Anne, like the rest of Alberta, face some challenges, but I believe the opportunities outweigh those challenges. I have vowed that I will work with all Albertans to do what I can to face those challenges and to explore those opportunities. The good people of White Court St. Anne should expect no less.